What is it that Blender doesn't let you do that the application fluid designer for 3D printing which uses Blender does allow you to do? That's what uh, this video is about. Um, if we go to fluid designer for 3D printing, if we look at uh, this letter A in the center of the screen here, at the moment the cross section of this letter is one millimeter by three millimeters so it's got a thickness of one and a depth of three if i click over here and change the bevel object i can set it to one by two i can set it to one by one i can modify it any way that i want really now this object is is a is a nerves curve these objects are also nerves curves now the beauty about using nerves curves if i set this to say one by two if I um, press the S key on the keyboard, I'm just switching on uh, screencast keys. If I press S on the keyboard and scale this object up, here it says that my object should be one by two. Well, it's clearly not one by two anymore. The uh, pendant around the outside is. This is thicker now. But if I do Control A and apply the scale, my one by two setting, which is what I can read here, is reapplied. And it doesn't matter how many times I scale this, as long as I do Control A and apply the scale, this cross section will be reapplied. So I've got total control over my objects. As long as I use NURBS curves, I've got total control over what the size, what the dimension of these objects are. And I want that if I'm going to do 3D printing and I'm going to make things like... Uh, pendants which you know in the real world are only like 20 millimeters by 20 millimeters okay now this uh, file is a blender file it's called personalized celtic knot pendant 43 leaf it's a blender file if i go to blender itself this is exactly the same file i've got exactly the same objects here now the um, layout of blender is slightly different so i do need to uh, just change this panel here to the properties panel and if I go to curves uh, I can look at what the bevel depth of this object is at the moment I'll just have to open it up a bit more I suspect so it is one by two look so I can I can change it to uh, one by three I can change it to one by one I can set it back at one by two that works perfectly okay but what happens when I press S on the keyboard and scale this you see the Z dimension has changed now from two millimeters but when I do control A and apply the scale nothing happens this is a NURBS curve in fluid designer for 3d printing this will reset to the true value that's recorded over here in blender it doesn't work like that so I can scale it down again do control A and apply the scale and nothing happens it's not reset at all now from the point of view of 3d printing I want to be able to reset this cross-section I want to know exactly what size it is and in fluid designer for 3d printing uh, fluid designer as developed by microvellum it's just a modica modification of blender I can do that as long as I'm using NURBS curves and I can show you that this is blender because I can switch to the normal Blender interface here. Um, if I go into edit mode and press the tab key, I can bring up all the Blender commands. So if you want total control of your objects, if you want to be able to scale them, just do control A and apply the scale, you will be able to control the thickness. So effectively what you're doing here is you're working with parametric smart objects you can scale these objects up to any size you want and simply by changing the bevel object you can uh, apply a known controllable cross-section a known thickness so uh, you've got total control over that which for 3d printing is great all right i hope you found this one interesting and i hope also that the people at blender can uh, actually modify Blender so that it works in this way. I'm not a programmer. I'm not quite sure why this happens, but it does.